Uh, I have done cost of illness studies for some 25 years. This is definitely the largest I've ever done. And I believe actually it's the absolute largest that has ever been done by anybody else in any other disease. And I think EMSP, all the other people who have been involved in it, and most of all the patients, people with MS who have contributed their data should be enormously proud of it. But to your question, why should you be interested in these data? Uh, cost of illness studies basically provide like a photograph of what we do today. How does the population with MS look in terms of their quality of life, of their daily activities, and most of all of how are the resources consumed, what health care do they need, what other support do they need. Uh, we know a lot of this, but we always need new, we need to update those data. The interest primarily is for people with MS is to spot, for you EMSP, is to spot where do we have issues? Where should we actually attack and discuss and do better? The cost data are clearly enormously important for governments, for policy makers. We are getting, we have heard today that we will be getting a number of new treatments. We have to A, find out where in our healthcare systems do we find a place for these treatments, who should get them, how do we handle them, how do we pay for them, because it's not just MS, we have to pay for all diseases. So these data, the very powerful data to show what happens in MS, help policymakers to judge how to use the coming new drugs. And that's probably the most obvious uh, effect. So why should you be interested in it? You should be interested in it because you want those drugs to be able to be used. You want access to the new treatments. For that we need good data. Uh, if you want a quick glimpse at results, I'm not talking about the cost data, they are too detailed, but in this new study we have very, very powerful data on the quality of life, on parameters that we expected less to be very, very uh, detrimental to patients, like pain. We found that pain is really an issue. We found fatigue is one of the biggest issues. We found that difficulties to cognitive difficulties are prevalent all the time. And that is not coming. Mobility issues get worse with time. Cognitive difficulties, tiredness, pain is there right from the beginning. We will present a large amount of the data at ECTRIMS. Hopefully we have submitted abstract. Hopefully we will get admitted for podium lectures. We do hope that. So in September? In September. We target, we will present many of the more economic data at the Health Economic Conference, which is called ESPOR. That is in early November. But during the fall, every country will be getting their data and then we can start discuss individual with the individual countries how do we use the data what do they mean it's enormous amounts of data so we need to look at them in detail so during the fall during the winter